Hey fellas, today I'll show you some different wall texture types that you can use in Easy FPS Editor and go over a, a common problem that some people have when building up from floor 2 onwards, not being able to use the floor texture properly. And I'll show you how using a cube map or a tall wall texture will help you sort that problem out. So this image you see here, I'm actually really glad that I took the screenshot when I did. This was from a tutorial I watched like a few months ago from a YouTube channel that disappeared. It was called No Code Game Development. And this guy was using Easy FPS Editor and making tutorials on the engine. And he was talking about this topic. He showed this on the screen in one of his videos and I took a screenshot then. I thought it would come in handy. And then literally the next day, I went to go find that video again and the whole channel was gone. I even checked again now and there's no trace of the channel anywhere. It's just gone. So I'm guessing he closed his channel down or something. I don't know what happened, but I'm really glad I got the screenshot when I did. Okay, so I have this little test area here. Um, you can see I already have two cube maps here imported as my wall textures. Um, so we're just kind of going off my last tutorial about skyboxes using a cube map. But you can use cube maps for your wall textures as well. So I'm just going to paint the picture here. Um, as you can see, we're on floor one. And I'm sure some of you have tried this and seen this happen before. Say you want to go up a level to floor two. So we'll make a little default staircase here. You placed your steps. Now we're on floor two. And now you want to use the floor texture, right? That makes sense. So let's do that now. And now let's test it out. Looks good, right? Looks like we have an upper level. Looking good, looking good. Going upstairs, going upstairs. Where's the floor? Go downstairs. Oh, there it is. Okay, go upstairs. It's gone again. <laughs> it's like a weird magic trick. And then even weirder, if you walk forward, there is a floor, technically. I'm walking on something. I just can't see it. So that's the common issue that most people have. If you try and use a floor texture on anything higher than the first floor, it just won't work. It'll do this. So you won't be able to see the floor that you're walking on unless you look from below like this. And it's pretty strange, pretty spooky. So to fix this issue, once you start working on floors two and up, you'll have to start using wall textures. Uh, that's where the cube maps come in. I'll show you outside here. So I'll just build this little square here and I'll show you what the image looks like. So this is the wall texture I just placed in this cube map form. So all the sides of the cube and the bottom will be this texture here. But then the top part of the cube will be this floor texture. I'll show you how that looks right now. Okay, cool. So there it is. This will be a solution for making floors from floor two onwards. So you can see the cube map is this brick face on the sides and the bottom, which you can't see. And then just this top part is different. So this will now act as your floor. So from the outside, it'll look like a building exterior, but then once you get inside, it'll be a different texture on top, that floor texture, which you can't really see right now. Okay, so now we'll start again. Remove those stairs, remove this invisible floor, and I'll show you how it looks with uh, using a cube map. So once you're going onto floor two now, these will be the sides of the cube. This will be the bottom, which will end up being like your ceiling. And then this will be the top part, which is the floor you'll walk on. So just keep that in mind. So you can see here, I use this wooden floor texture. So if you want that to be the floor above as well, then I'll make a new cube map now and show you how it works. Here are the textures I'm using. They're really, really good textures. I will leave the link for this in my description. Very cheap and very worth it. There you go, Stonewall Fall. And that's 256 by 256. I think all of these are 256. So I'll just open this one so long. And then similar to my um, skybox tutorial to make the cube map, we've got to do some maths. 256 times four for the length is 1024. And then 256 times three, for the height is 768. Now this should fit 256 textures nicely. We'll turn the grid on and make it 256 for width and height. Now you can see there's our cube map grid. So we can grab our wall so long, Control T, Control C. We can paste it here. 
and we want these to be the four sides of the cube to match the to match the walls that we're using here. I'll just copy that again, paste it there. Make sure it fits in perfectly. You don't want any cracks. And then just to save even more time, control T again, copy both of them. Time saving. Cool, and that all fits in snugly. So we have our four sides of the cube done. So there's the seat, no, there's the floor, and there's the ceiling it'll end up being. And then here's the wood floor that I was using on floor one. So I'll grab this and paste it here at the top since that'll end up being our floor on level two. And then this bottom piece will be our ceiling. So um, let's see, what'll be a good ceiling? I guess we can keep it this texture, but just for the video's sake, I'll make it something different. Maybe we can just use this other dungeon floor. Copy that, place it down here. I'm actually gonna do two versions of this. Let's do another layer, so Alt N. And then for this layer, I'm actually just gonna swap these textures around. Perfect. Now I've got two different versions there, just in case it looks better. Last step is to turn the grid off, just to make sure it's all seamless. Looks pretty good. Then we can export these. I'm just gonna export them onto my desktop. Test cube, save, export, nice. Now we can go back here. So import textures, go to your walls, and you can upload cube maps as your wall texture. We'll look for test cube, one and two. Cool, so we got them there. Let's do that little staircase again. A little fake staircase. I highly recommend making your own custom modified staircase. I have a tutorial on that too, so go check that out. I think I'll actually just make that staircase quickly. Um, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Cool. Just finished making the staircase. Now I have my stairs going to the west over here. I think we'll start it here. Then go here. And then we'll be on that level. Cool, now we're on floor two. We want to place it on this level. Test cube one. Start here. Go all around. Wait, maybe not there. Cool, here we are. You can see the ceiling works. Might just place a block there to make it look like a proper staircase. Go up the stairs, and there's our floor. Nice. Ah, you kind of have to squeeze through here, so you might want to take this block away too. Yeah, let's take this one away. And add this one underneath the staircase. Let's see how that looks. Okay, cool. Looks a little better. Could add like a another block here or something behind the staircase. And now we have space to go through. There we go. That's how you make floors on floor two and higher by using walls as floors. And yeah, I could have matched this bottom face as the walls, but just wanted to show you how it's all different if you want it to be. And yeah, then you can just repeat this process going up and up and up and you'll have working floors that are actually walls. But just a nice workaround to get around that uh, invisible floor glitch. Ah yes, I didn't show you tall walls yet. That'll just be um, two of your textures together, like this. And it'll make the sides and the bottoms and top different. So I could have actually used tall walls for this. So it'll be 256 times 2, which I know. It's 512. Let's make a quick tall wall. So the upper image will be used as the sides, and then the bottom image will be the top and the bottom. Grab this, but then on top, and grab this one. This will be the floor and ceiling then. Cool, now we've got a tall wall. Export that. Now we upload that one quickly. Import texture, walls, and tall wall test. Now you'll see the top texture and the bottom one's kind of squished in this image, but it works nicely. Let's give it a test as a tall wall instead. Let's see how that looks. All right, cool. So this is the tall wall instead of a cube map. You can see the bottom 
sides and top. And this works just fine as well. If you want the floor and the ceiling to be the same, then we can use tall walls instead. But if you want the ceiling to be different to the floor above, then use a cube map. And let's just make this funny jumbled one. Nice. Now we've got a random assortment of uh, textures over here. You can get creative with it. Just take this template image, play around with different textures, see how it looks. You'll find you'll have different uses um, and different needs depending on if the outside of your building needs to be a certain texture versus the inside of the building and that kind of thing. So just play around with it. So we've got our tall wall, our cube map and our random jumble cube map. I'll maybe add another layer to this building as well. Then I also have this roof cube map, which I'll maybe test out now as well. I think that'll go here. Yeah, let's put it all around. Okay, cool. So here's our building from the outside. Sorry about the top there. I'm using a different texture with that cube map. I'm gonna head inside. See, I've got our upper, our upper level now with a working floor. We've got the ceiling. And then if we go outside to the roof, you'll see the roof is a different texture as well. And then here's our different cube maps I played around with. So that's the tall wall, that's the cube map, and that's the random cube map. So yeah, they can all come in handy in different ways. I recommend just playing around with different textures, see how it goes. Here we have the roof cube map. So the top part is like this roof paneling. And then you saw inside was this brick texture. So that's how you can use it for roofs as well. And I think that's the tutorial for today. It was a bit of a mess, a bit of a messy tutorial. I was kind of all over the place there, but the main point of this video is cube map cool. Cube map good. Try the cube map. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, leave some comments. Most importantly, subscribe because I'm almost at 900 subscribers and it's pretty cool. Feel free to join my Discord anytime. I can help you out there a lot better. Or if I can't help you out, other people can, because they're smarter than me. Also, a quick reminder of my coffee page. I'm almost at halfway of my goal right now, so I can hopefully get a good computer soon. That would be really nice, but no pressure. Even just a like on this video would be appreciated. But yeah, remember, cube map good, cube map cool. I'll see you guys next time.